Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google pushed December 2023 feature drop for Pixel devices which is a very exciting day especially for the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro users because of the new features included in this build. I have it here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you each and every new change so without further ado let's jump in this is the first screen you will get once you finish the update we saw the same feature with the qpr builds and now it made its way to the stable version it will tell you here your pixel is up to date and you can check out the new features by tapping on next it will first ask you to uh, activate the diagnostics if you want to accept that tap on the button and you are good to go let's take a look at the build number it's uq1a.231205.015 and now let's take a look at the new features currently most of the features google announced are not available on any of my phones but i will start with whatever i have for now and as i'm filming the video once i get a new feature i will include it so let's start with the first one Google announced the new feature called the Smart Replies in Gboard only available for the Pixel 8 Pro in English US. This feature will simply give you suggested replies based on whatever it sees in the conversation and the best part is this feature works in third party apps and the first one to support it is WhatsApp. So let me show you what's happening here. I sent myself this message and as you see here I'm getting suggested replies in the suggestions strip without me doing anything so I can uh, use any of these answers send and so on and so forth and this is how it works this feature is not activated by default but you have to go to your settings and then system and then developer options and look for something called AI core settings when you go inside the AI core settings, you will see a toggle here called enable AI core persistent. And when you turn on the switch, it will be activated. The second feature is very useful, which is the ability to remove dirt and the smudges from your documents after scanning. You can consider this one as the magic eraser for documents. Here's one of the documents I have. I added some catch up to it. It looks tasty, but I'm only interested in the document itself. So let's see how the feature works. So I'm going to open the Google Drive app, hit the camera button and position my camera. It will automatically capture the document and you will find a new tab here at the bottom called clean. It will give you a brush size. You can choose a small or a big size. So I'm going to remove the smudges in my document by highlighting the dirty area like this and then remove my finger it doesn't actually work from the first time you need to keep doing this multiple times based on my testing and as you see the document is now much cleaner it doesn't remove the words as you clean but it, it only removes the dirt from the document and look at the difference between the two over here so this is after and this is before the third feature is called repair mode if you are using a samsung phone you should be aware of what the repair mode means it simply secures all your personal information when you send your phone for repair and this one is located under settings scroll all the way down then system scroll down again and you will find repair mode let's tap on it it says here repair mode is a secure environment used while your device is being repaired Repair mode protects your apps and personal data like photos, messages, and contacts from being accessed by others. When you exit repair mode, your phone will return to its normal state. And let's tap on enter repair mode. It will first ask you for your pin. So I'm going to put that behind the camera. Now the pin is entered. Let's move on. And it says at the bottom, by the way, that it requires 2 gigabytes of space for this feature to work properly. So the phone automatically restarted and I'm waiting for it to enter the repair mode. Now I'm getting the Google logo and a progress bar at the bottom giving a yellow and a green colors. And now my phone finally entered the repair mode. It actually doesn't have any lock screen on it. When you press, you just go right away to the phone. When I open my photos, there is nothing showing over here. It's giving me the option to sign in or do normal stuff as if it's a brand new phone. Let's open the, the phone app. As you see, nothing inside the phone app. So let's see how we can exit the repair mode from here. It says 
your device is in repair mode if your device is done being repaired you can exit repair mode and your device will return to normal and you have here the button to exit repair mode let's tap on it it says here exit repair mode it will ask you for the pin again so let me put it and hit the enter key the phone is restarting one more time so let's see how it will handle this and here you go the phone restarted and everything is back to normal i can see all my data as it is no change change number four is the ability to summarize the transcript in google recorder app so let me show you what i mean here is one of the recordings i have while making the pixel 7 pro long-term review and when i go to the transcript page you'll see here a summarize button because this recording is quite long so let's tap on summarize and see the uh, bullet points it will give us it's asking me to download the language so i'm gonna tap on download and by the way this one only works in english us with the pixel 8 models while the download taking place let me quickly correct myself this feature is only available on the pixel 8 pro and the regular pixel 8 is not supported it seems like the feature is taking quite a long time to finish the download so let's wait for it to show you how it works now the download is done so let's tap on the summarize button and here are the bullet points it says here the pixel 7 pro is a great phone with a curved display and a good build quality the pixel 7 pro is slippery and can easily fall off the 7 pro is durable and has a good screen protector so that's exactly a summary for what i said inside the transcript and you will find it over here you can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down and that's how it works you can minimize it expand it and it will remain in place even when you close the recording change number five is the ability to use your pixel phone as a webcam without the need to download any third-party apps this feature works on the pixel 6 models and later in addition to the pixel fold all you need to do is to plug your phone to the pc using a usb-c cable and you will find this notification in your notifications shade that says charging this device via usb when you tap on it and scroll down a bit you will see a webcam option once you select the option the pc will automatically detect your phone as a webcam and in this example i'm trying to use it with google meet and it works perfectly fine you can use the front or the back cameras with different zoom levels to choose from now let's talk about the camera and google photos features unfortunately i didn't get most of them like the video boost and night sight for time lapse but google says that the photo unblur feature is now improved and it works better with the photos of pets so here's one of the blurry photos for my pet and when i tap on edit and then go to unblur it should give you better results now i'm not sure if this result is after the update because i don't have any indication that i got a new update for google photos but this is how it works now not only this but google decided to push this feature to the pixel 6 models which was only exclusive to the 7 models and later but now you can get it on the pixel 6 in addition to the pixel tablet and pixel fold google also talked about an improvement to the portrait light feature it says that they are currently using a newer ai model that better enhances the lighting condition in your photo and i'm not sure if i got this feature or not but they also say that this improvement is coming to the pixel 6 models and later in addition to the pixel tablet and pixel fold so to check out if i got any improvement here is one of the portrait photos i have and as you see my face is dark and the lighting condition is not great so let's go to tools and then portrait light here's the result i'm getting i'm not sure if this is the improved version or not but if i found anything new I will let you know in my follow-up video now let's talk about the features specific to the pixel fold and pixel tablet i don't have any of these devices so i'm not going to be able to show you them on camera but let's take a look at google's article about the feature drop it says here that the clear calling is now available on the pixel tablet in addition to the pixel buds pro now supports special audio if you have the pixel tablet as well when it comes to the pixel fold now you can take photos and show a preview on the outer display so for example if you are taking a photo for a group of people or someone he will be able to see himself on the outer display while you're snapping the shot the call screen feature also got a couple of improvements but it's not available in my region to show you these new changes so let's take a look at the article it says here google assistant on pixel fold pixel 6 and the newer phones will now suggest contextual replies for your in-call screen so for example 
it depends on what the other person is saying you will get the suggestions that are related to the context of the conversation on top of this now you can use call screen on your pixel watch and it doesn't mention that it only works on the pixel watch 2 so it seems like the feature should be available on the pixel watch 1 and 2. on top of this the recorder app can now transcribe in 28 new languages that you can check by tapping on the 18 number and then tap on this link it will take you to a page to let you know what are the languages currently supported on which devices uh, you can also find here another improvement related to the hold or direct my call and hold for me. It says here pixels direct my call and hold for me are expanding to business numbers without a toll free prefix. Both features are also available now in the UK. Moving to the clock app, now you have the ability to see the weather conditions of your current location or any other city you added under the clock tab. On top of this, when you add the world clock widget to your home screen, you will be able to see the weather conditions too. So let me give it a try and, and put the world clock to my home screen. And as you see here, now I can see the weather conditions over here. The first gen Pixel Watch also got a couple of new features from the Pixel Watch 2 that I have over here. The first one is the ability to synchronize the do not disturb and bedtime modes to your pixel watch and you can find it under the notifications inside the pixel watch app and you can see here sync across watch and phone the second new change is two new watch faces added to the first gen so let's take a look at them the first one is the analog arcs and adventures now let's talk about the hidden features in this build the first one is the support for the voice over LTE and 5G in the MENA region. You no longer need to use a beta software to be able to use those two features because I already installed the stable version and when I go to internet, I'm sorry, when I go to SIMs and then tap on my SIM card, now I have the voice over LTE toggle still there and also the 5G works. I tested this behind the camera and I can still get 5G connection normally. Misha Rahman also shared something interesting on X. It says here that this build comes with a brand new GPU driver for the Tensor Pixel models, which users report significantly improves the performance in games like Genish Impact and Fortnite. I didn't test it myself, but once I do, I will keep you updated in my follow up video. He also shared a screenshot from the Pixel Fold for a new experimental feature that will allow you to force apps to run in a specific aspect ratio to give you a full screen view on the inner display. So that's everything I managed to get my hands on after installing this build. When it comes to the performance, stability, battery and thermals, I didn't notice any issues while filming this video. If you take a look here, you will see that I used the phone for uh, three hours and I'm getting 67% battery and here are the apps I used. The phone is running very cool and the performance is snappy. No bugs spotted while filming the video as well, but you will definitely expect a follow-up video from me talking about the performance, battery, and thermals. After installing this build, I will do some extensive testing, especially when it comes to the graphics, as I see a lot of claims online talking about better graphics after installing this build. On top of this, I will talk about the video boost and uh, night sight for time lapse in a future video once I get them on my Pixel 8 Pro and in case I spotted any hidden feature that I didn't mention I will also include this in my future videos but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.